What's going on, y'all? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how Aim Assist makes controller players overpowered. And I got three banger gameplays, several MGB nukes, several 100 plus kill gameplays, and that is all while doing a hand cam. So instead of seeing my face, you're gonna be seeing everything I'm doing on my controller in game. Before we get into the gameplay, I'm gonna be giving you the absolute best Aim Assist settings in Modern Warfare 3. And then once we get into the gameplay, we're gonna be using all the settings we changed to our advantage. So my button and stick layout are default. I have the scuff controller here, so I got paddles in the back. Every time I jump, I'm gonna be pressing this. And every time I slide or slide cancel, I'm going to be pressing this right here. So instead of having to take my thumb off the analog stick to go press those buttons, I get to keep very good aim and do everything back here. And that is why my button and stick lid are default is because of my controller I have. Uh, if you guys want to flip your triggers, you're more than welcome to. I don't. I prefer my triggers to aim and shoot. Make sure your controller vibration is off. Believe it or not, this is messing up your aim and you don't even know it. There's no reason why your controller should be shaking every time you're in a gunfight. So turn this off. It may feel weird or take some time to get used to, but it is definitely worth it. These are my dead zones. I play in a 7 and 15. So my right stick is a 15. And that just makes uh, my aiming a lot stickier and a little bit slower so I can abuse aim assist. If you don't want to do that, you could uh, do a 7. I think that works very, very well. Your left and right should be 100. Left and right triggers should be zero. Anything over zero actually adds delay to the triggers. So uh, that's very important to pay attention to. We then have my sensitivity. My horizontal and vertical is a 6.6. Six. I previously used to play on a 6.5, but I recently changed it. I just wasn't feeling comfortable on that 6.5 anymore. And this is my updated sense that feels absolutely amazing. It's not too fast. It's not too slow. It's literally perfect. This is very good to start off with. My ADS sensitivity multiplier is a 0.80. At default, yours is going to be a 1, but at a 0.80, it makes your, when you're aiming, a lot stickier. So it's a little bit slower, so you can kind of snap on enemies, and there's a very minimal movement when you're in gunfights. I mean, you really shouldn't be missing any shots whatsoever on a 0.80 ADS sensitivity multiplier. Make sure your aim response curve type is dynamic. It's the best one. Uh, my ADS sensitivity multiplier focus is a 0.95. This is for scopes. I recommend knocking this down just a little bit, not 0.80, because those scopes are a lot more zoomed in. So you want to be a little bit quicker so you can kind of drag it around. We then have my target aim assist. Make sure this is actually on. Uh, some people have this off for some reason. Make sure that is on. Aim assist type, I recommend default. Block ops used to be the best and i've experimented with the bolt with the two and i think default is just the better one and then the final setting you're going to want to have on is in your interface settings go to crosshairs center dot make sure this is on and make sure it is largest so you can actually see it i'm going to be explaining why you're definitely going to need this uh, once we get into the gameplay now all these settings i just went over are going to make sense once we hop into the gameplay but one thing i did not talk about that i may make a dedicated video on is rotational aim assist so i want you to pay attention to this once we get into the gameplay because i don't really talk about it so basically rotational aim assist is where when you're moving side to side strafing i'm still locked on the enemy i'm look at this Look at my aim assist. I'm just moving back and forth, and you see how my crosshairs stay on the enemy? That is rotational aim assist. So every time you're in a gunfight, you want to make sure you're constantly moving like this so aim assist is in full effect. Because if you're not, look, you can see it's not really sticking to the enemy. But when you're like this, you don't even need to move anything whatsoever. You could strafe, and your aim assist just kind of does everything for you. So keep that in mind once we get into the gameplay. Now, if you love Call of Duty, you are in the right spot because we upload daily Call of Duty videos. So make sure you guys subscribe with that bell icon rung and you will be notified the next time I upload. And if any of these tips do help you guys out, make sure you guys click that thumbs up button. Helps out the algorithm, helps grow the channel. With all that being said, man, enjoy these insane hand cam gameplays. Later, my boy. All right, back with the hand cam. Here we go. So I'll try to explain literally everything that this guy's at that I went over in the settings. So starting with the largest dot, you could see how it's like, I mean, you could very well see it on my screen. And the reason we change it is because if you don't, it, it's just harder to see. And when it's like kind of front and center, a little bit larger than normal, you kind of have no choice but to pay attention to it. And this just allows you to, Ooh, that guy just got slammed. It just allows you to uh, use it and center it on the enemies at all given times. Because this is where... 
Ooh, that's a, this is where you're gonna. Holy cow, we're frying right now. This is good. I'm just like kind of holding this down over here. That's where your bolts are going. That's exactly where they're going. So you, what? Just usually, do you see how I slid right into pointing at that, right there? It's because I'm using that dot. It's just like I'm always looking at it too. I'm trying to pay attention to it, or at least paying attention to the center of my screen, which is a very, very important. You don't want to be running, looking at the ground. A lot of people do this. When you have that, oh, those guys just got body slammed. Call this advanced in. Let me get out of there. Oh my god. Yeah, people like to run like this around the map, which is not good at all. If you, oh my god. We are frying right now. This white dot's gonna make you actually look at the center of your screen and look up when you're walking, not look at the ground. There's no enemies on the ground like that, so. Mm, teammate, why would you run there? You're an idiot. I haven't advanced up, no one's there. Moron, jeez. But yeah, that's why the white dot's important, because that's where your bolts are going. You want to kind of make sure that's always centered to where you think the enemies are going to be at. So I, oh, yeah. here, here comes my teammate again, coming in here, but I didn't ask for it. There we go. Especially when you're predicting where an enemy's going to be at. So when I peek at this corner, I'm looking here. I'm looking inside of here. What are they all doing? So that's why I was bringing that dot to look at. Next, we have my ADS sensitivity. That's obviously a lot lower than... Okay, let me fix. make sure you guys can see my controller. That's a lot lower than you're probably used to seeing. It's a .80. I mean, look at how quick it, it looks on screen. It looks pretty quick, right? At least for me, it does. But it's on the lower side, and that's just so my aim assist is a lot stickier, and you could just see I am landing an infinite amount of more of my shots. Look at that. Again, you see how I'm just sliding into that with that dot looking in that area, because that's where the enemies are at? I get our advanced here. Kind of just believe having a UAV up. There we go. See? But yeah, that's why it's on the lower side, so I'm a lot more precise. And it works out really well. My weapon literally does not move anytime I'm in a gunfight. I'm landing nearly every single shot, which is insane. Oh, we got to disengage. We're getting kind of weak there. I'll just kind of flank around here, maybe. Yeah, we got a really good flank on them. There we go. And going back to my control freaks, which I heavily vouch for, my right analog stick's a lot taller. And the reason it, it is, is because it then allows me to do less movement with it to be on target. I don't got to use my analog, like all of my analog stick in order to look at the enemy. I got to do slight movements and I'll be on target. But in, it allows me just to be a lot more quick and snappy with, with my shots. Oh, no, 25. We need five more for an MGB new. We're looking really, really good on me. Get out of there, maybe. Okay. Call my EMP in real quick. Boom. Dude, we are we are literally clobbering this other team. It's unbelievable. But yeah. Anytime I'm actually in a gunfight, you guys notice how I'm not like. I'm not all. I'm not all over the place. And part of that is. To my lower uh, ADS sensitivity. It's super important, so you're not going insane. This guy's inside. There we go. I need one more uh, kill for the MGB. I'm kind of just sitting back and I, 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 I can't, there's our MGBW. Spawns are still messy. Yeah, you can see my shots are not wild whatsoever. I kind of. It's impossible for it to be when I have a 0.80 ADS sensitivity multiplier. Like, it, 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 my shots are just incredibly steady and, like, laser accurate. Sorry the MGB took forever. Like, we're kind of slow. This is a little bit of a slower game. It's completely okay, because then I can explain everything. And I'm just making sure my, my uh, the camera I'm using doesn't freeze or kind of black out, because it's happened in the past. But we we're just completely dominating this other team. It's kind of sad. And then as far as goes for my regular sensitivity, it's just what I'm most comfortable with. So when I turn around corners like that... And I kind of slide and then quickly snap. I don't over kind of shoot where I'm looking, where I'm trying to look at. And it's not too slow either. It is just perfect for me. It's the perfect middle ground between a fast and slow sensitivity. It, it is such a perfect starting ground, especially if you don't know what sensitivity you should be playing at. This is literally perfect.
There's only 15 points left. We're at 62 kills. I'll call, I'm just going to call the nuke in, and then we'll hop in another game. And then also, keep in mind, you guys can see these paddles now that I'm not playing. Every time I'm jumping, I'm pressing right here. And every time I'm sliding or crouching, it's right here. So it's a little harder to see in the... In, in the in the camera but yeah every time i'm i'm jumping or sliding it's it's all going on on the back up here so i can keep my thumb on his analog stick and just stay very very precise final score line 63 kills they ended up leaving mgb nuke all right well this time around we're just gonna try to pop off as much as possible so everything i kind of explained and gave you a tutorial on damn there's a lot going on right now oh my god i'm gonna try to speed it up a little bit rather than having to explain this guy is just annoying Oh, the Bass B. Yeah, of course, he's annoying. He has one of the best weapons in the entire game. Now we're going to throw everything together and just kind of go nuts now. Now I'm just going to try to play as normal as possible. Oh, also something I forgot to explain. Why am I using the MCW? Oh, my God. Oh, what the? I don't even hear bro's footsteps. What? I I'm trying to play as comfortable as possible. So I want to use a weapon that I'm... I fear I feel very well good using. And that's the MCW. It's just a laser beam. And I can play as natural as possible so you guys can see what's going on. That's why I like to sit as comfortable as possible. So I normally, I'm trying to make it look like as normal as, as possible. So it doesn't seem like artificial with the way I'm. With the way I'm playing. So I'm just trying to be as comfortable as possible. Dude, these guys just don't stand a chance. It's actually insane. Um, if you guys are interested in me using a normal controller for a, a hand cam, let me know. I'd actually be interested in doing it. Sounds kind of interesting. And I would love to kind of do it for a vid and see what we could do with a, a normal controller. I haven't played on one in forever, so it is going to be very, very rough. But the goal would obviously be to hopefully get an MGB nuke, which, I mean, it's not impossible, but it would be very, very rough. And maybe even without Control Freaks, but I low-key need Control Freaks. I can't play without them. I've been playing with Control Freaks since 2011. People weren't even playing Call of Duty at that time, which is insane. But, but yeah, I've been using Control Freaks since then. And, yeah, I, I, if I had to choose between no Control Freaks and no Scuff, I'm doing no Scuff, without a doubt. I need the Control Freaks. God, bro just got literally body slammed. All right. Cool. We're looking good. We're looking very good. There's our MGB. No, I didn't get a gut. Yeah, you're not breaking my ankles, buddy. You guys see how I was able to stay very controlled with my aim right there? Even in a gunfight where, like, he kind of snatched my ankles. I ain't gonna lie, but I was able to quickly adjust and be right back on target. It's all because I'm, I'm playing on a... A controllable's ADS and regular sensitivity. When you're playing on a sensitivity that's too quick or too slow for you, you're not able to do like you're not able to do things like that. You're really not. So that's why it's so important finding the perfect sensitivity for you. You see, I'm kind of just zapping on targets, just left, right, up, down. Like I'm able to do that because this is the absolute best sensitivity for me personally. So. I think it's really important to find that for your guys' selves. Oh my god, these guys are getting destroyed. I hate that we're triple capping. I actually really do. I might have to hop in another one. I'm kind of tempted to. We already got one MGB nuke. I mean, I'll... Take another. Oh my god, that guy was behind me that entire time. I didn't even realize. All right, we got a helicopter up. Throw that up real quick. Yeah, damn, I kind of want to use a normal a normal controller now so I can show you the difference. You guys can see there's a lot more movement for me personally. Like, I, I kind of have to press a lot more buttons because I don't have I don't have extra buttons on the back of my controller. People kind of don't understand the, the concept of having paddles on the back of your controller. A lot of people think it's, it's modded. It, it, it's not. It's a normal controller with extra buttons. That doesn't mean it's modded. I guess that's one way of saying it, but it's not what it sounds like, if that makes any sense. It's not cheating. No, nothing like that. Pro players use it. It's it's widely acceptable. It really is. If they were cheats, they would have been out of business from Activision because they, they shut these cheats down. 
But Activision are, well, are very well aware. All these companies are aware of these controllers. You're able to use these controllers. Scoff, Battle Beaver. Those are the two most well-known ones. Uh, I guess you got aim controllers. There's a bunch of different ones that that offer very similar things where you can get buttons on the back, whether it's in the form of paddles or actual buttons. So keep that in mind. Got it. I got to spend $200 on a controller. You don't need to be playing on the same controller as me. You don't. I just find it helpful. This is just per what I personally find to be very helpful. I know a lot of very good friends of mine who actually prefer a normal controller. And that's completely okay. Like, it's all personal preference. I just like having the extra paddles on. I have very long fingers, so they actually just kind of sit on those paddles very, very well. And it helps me with my movement, where I'm able to slide cancel very easily, jump very easily. You see, I'm ha I have very good controlled aim. All right, I apologize. The camera that I was just using actually like froze on me and completely messed up, but we're back. We're good. I ended up fixing it. Sadly, the game's already almost over. I think we're going to hop into one more. I actually had a lot of fun playing this one. It just sucks that my camera ended up dying on me, but you guys could just see. I mean, having these paddles is wonderful. Oh, let me call my nuke real quick. Having these paddles are, are, is very, very nice. I'm just able to multitask. That's the best way I can describe it, is just being able to multitask where I have controlled aim while jumping and doing my movements. So it's harder for the enemy slam shots on me when... Oh, there's more. Island. Okay, 100. There we go. I, actually, I still dropped 100 even after being AFK for like a minute. W. 102 kills and an MGB nuke. And I was able to play a lot more naturally, a lot more fast pace, which is really, really fun. I got another quick look at my controller once again. We'll top under one more. Screw it. All right, screw it. We're just going to play all small maps, I guess. Screw it. We'll play one more then. We got some shipment. This time's going to be a little bit more quick paced. Last game was great. I ain't going to lie. But these are quick little like five minute matches. So I'm down to play another one. It's not like 12v12 or 10v10 where the games actually last a little bit. But I wanted, I did want to make sure I played a small map. So I'm actually constantly in action. You guys can actually see what's going on here. So we got our MCW once again, because why not? Oh my God. Nothing. You guys can see how my, how I make sure my white dot is just exactly where I think the enemies are going to be at every single time. See, I know he's right in front of me, right? With the sniper, right to go. I'm centered. That's why he was, that's why I took him out so quick, even though he was ready. So was I. I was just behind cover. And he didn't know I was going to pop up, so. That's my teammate. Okay, cool. Yeah, hopefully my this hand cam doesn't freeze again like last game. That was a little rough. Nice. Wait, do they have a helicopter? I feel like I was just getting shot out of the sky. What the? There was way too much going on there. These guys are all on the other side, too, which kind of sucks. Dude, what the hell is going on? Later, bro. Anyone else? Yep, there we go. You see how I have very, very controlled aim? That low ADS sensitivity multiplier is incredibly important. Because if it's on the higher side, you just are missing so many shots. It's almost, it's literally, like, like I said, it's impossible to miss shots. Why is a flamethrower? Or did I get another helicopter here too? Very, very close. Oh my god. Oh, we are lasering. Let's call that in. We're about to get our advance here. This should be very good. Especially with them spawning over there. Oh shoot, they may be spawning on me now. Mosquito drone. Does that thing go for people who are popping off or no? I, I don't know how those work. I hope I hope that's not the case. I'm honestly just staying on this side of the map too, hopefully. That's a smart idea. Nice. Run some melee weapon or something. Okay, I need to capitalize with this advanced UV up. Now I know where everyone's at. Run a sniper in the open. That is insane. Load. Good job, teammates. Move, 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 move. You guys are all in the open. Move. Out of my way. Jesus, dude. I'm just sitting in the open getting body slammed. I'm dead anyways. I was on a 20. I guess that's what I get for yelling at my stupid teammates. It is what it is. Thankfully, there's still so much time left in this game. 
It's just hard not to mention that every single gunfight I'm in, like my aim is just, it's just pitch perfect, pitch perfect. Literally it is, it just doesn't move and I'm landing every single shot. Even with movement like that, it is just literally pre super precise. Because when you put all these settings together and you actually use everything correctly here, my teammate, it's hard for it to be messed up. So far, so good. I just need to like properly capitalize. Also having, you know, obviously your aim assist is also very, very important, which I barely talked about because if you're doing everything else correctly that I've talked about in today's video, your aim assist does the rest for you. There's really nothing much more to say. Just make sure you have the right aim assist types. This is just all how you abuse it. And that's that's why it's so OP, because you literally don't need to do anything. Have good centering, ADS sensitivity, make sure it's a little bit slower, and you're good to go. Oh my god. I gotta jump. Where's bro at? Oh, they're spawning here now? Okay, I need to get this advanced, dude. I need to get this nuke. I'm just kind of stuck on this side, or at least it feels like I am. Destroy that, get 25 points, I'll take it. Better than nothing, right? Another grenade. Okay, mid nuke streak, mid nuke streak. The th the, the, our camera messed up. It's all good, we're back, we're back. Sorry for the sloppy recording of this, but... <laughs> it's working out, I'm using this, uh, this webcam to record it rather than my actual camera. So then I don't have to move it. And I literally just specifically use this webcam for the uh, for the hand cam. Okay, we're, we're still on our nuke streak though, thankfully. I, I didn't die, I just sat in a corner for like a quick second to fix it and we're good. Oh my God, we are zapping 29 or 22. I mean, we need eight more, eight more. Laying down it, but I hate that. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're brutal. There's too much going on. I gotta call my EMP and I'm a little scared right now. No one's there. Oh my god, they just got zapped! I just ripped their heads off. Oh my god, there's our MGB! Dude, those guys were on head glitches! And I wasn't missing a shot on them, look at that! Aim assist is so broken. It really is. I don't think it'll ever get nerfed. I, I I really just don't see it happening. Nice. Got him. Got him. Oh my god, at this point we just look like we have cheats on. It's actually insane. One of 39 gun streak. One of 40. I don't have any ammo. Alright, throw some down real quick. All right, we're good, we're good. I got my ammo. Oh my God, we are just, dude. Look at that, holy cow, I'm just a more accurate player. Let's keep it going. Dude, we are looking great now. We just had a rough start. We're already at 100 plus kills. You guys could just see though. I mean, we are literally, everything we look and shoot at, I mean, we are just in our element. This is why I wanted to play as comfortable as possible so you guys could just get a, a prime example of what I'm talking about. Those are all headshots right there, by the way. I recommend practicing in the firing range. That is, That also is so helpful. Sitting in the firing range and shooting at targets. That, actually playing in private matches too is good. Shooting bots. I, I personally use the firing range quite a bit. Just because it's right there. You can always access it. You're going to set up bots. It's just super, super easy to just go into real quick. Right, if we're close to our, M, or our uh, advance. I'm just going to play a little bit smarter here for the advance. Nade. Oh my god, I actually got a kill with it. There's no way that just happened. They're spawning all around that corner. Well, I didn't get my advanced. Yeah, once I get it, I'm gonna make sure to go crazy. 
so many headshots. I mean, we're simply just not missing. And they're all spawning here, which I do not like. Oh my god. Advance UAV up. And I'll call the U the UMP. The EMP in. Nice. I hope they spawn on that hill now. That'd be great. We still have another minute left. This is a lot longer of a game. We are frying. Oh my god, a crossbow. Wow. That I just got like zapped down to by a crossbow. They're shooting each other because of the EMP. They're lost. They don't know what's going on. Oh my god, the feed. The feed is all me. It's Papa Frizz. Nice. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're still spawning there. What the hell is that? Keep this up. Dude, aim assist just kind of did its job right there. I don't know if you guys saw what I saw, but... Oh my goodness, dude. We're still going. Watch this. Call the advance real quick. They're all behind us. You're going to see we're not going to miss a shot. Nice. 21. LMG around this corner is insane. That is insane. I'm stunned and we're still rocking. Oh my god. I gotta call my nuke in. Yeah, mine gets called in. Yeah, you did get smoked. Hype me up. Dude, that was the most helicopters I've ever seen in one match. That was wild. I kind of, they're, they're pretty cool about it. I, I wish I called the nuke in. That would probably, probably been a, a, a crazy reaction. Absolutely fantastic way to end today's video. Uh, phenomenal gameplay at the end there. Again, here is my controller if you guys want to see it one last time. There you have it. I'll see you on the next one. You guys all stay safe. Have a great day and I'm out. Peace.